look at their record right now, and they're four and one, uh -huh. playing all Division two competition. Right. Uh, you know, they haven't they haven't you know beat people as badly as maybe what they did last year. I think they finished last year eight and three or nine and two or something like I think that. They were nine two. Nine and two, and you know their quarterback was a was a finalist, another year very good finalist for the for the Harlan Hill, which is the Division two right. Heisman. They were impressive. Uh, he thank goodness he's graduated, but they've got another one that's pretty solid. And uh, you know, I think he's a junior college transfer, big six five, six six kid that uh, does similar things. He hasn't been in the offense quite as long, but uh, you know his production has been very good. He'll pull it down and run with it too, and and uh, throws the ball down the field. And you know, they got a couple of those same backs they had last year back, and they're just across the board offensively. They're so athletic. You know, their offensive line is athletic. They go their left tackle six seven, two seventy five. You know he's not huge from a uh, from a weight standpoint, but he's big and physical and strong, and great feet. You know they're they're just really good up front and very athletic in all of their skill positions, and they make it hard on you. You know they they're four and one, and uh, their loss came at home to a really good team. You know they're they're undefeated on the road this year, uh, so you know they're going to come in here and they're not going to they're not going to have you know not going to be scared that they're on the road. That's for sure, and and. Uh, they won another game on the road last week out in Ohio against Urbana. And, uh, they beat so Urbana. They beat Urbana 28-12. You know, it was a close game throughout, and then uh, they pulled away at the end. You know, they go out to Fort Hayes State, which is a tough trip, uh, out in Hayes, Kansas, three weeks ago. And, and uh, Hayes jumps out on them early, and then they ended up winning, I think, 28-26 and coming back late and getting in that one. Uh, they play really good defense. You know, they're, they're, just, they're just athletic. Yeah, they're very active. And they play hard, and the style of offense they play, when you can speed it up, like when you have the offensive linemen that you can speed the game up the way they do and get as many snaps as they do offensively, your percentage of being successful goes up tremendously. You know, it's just like anything else. The more you have of it, the more good plays you can have. Right. And uh, so they do a very good job with that. You know, anytime you're as athletic as they are, as I talked about the last couple of weeks, you're going to be good on special teams as well because you can put a lot of really good athletes on those teams. And, and uh, you know, we'll have a good plan for them in all phases, and, and uh, we need to get a win again. We do, and it's homecoming, and, and uh, what, a, what a better time. There's no better time to do it than now. Uh, and our, our players are going to go into it believing we can win it, and so will we all. And uh, we'll have to wait to see how it plays out after the game to see where we're all at. But, uh, you know, our players' resiliency, resiliency is uh, very impressive.